Well, we don't need the spear anymore. So we can just go over here and click on that, go delete, and delete the other component for the spear. Now all we need is now uh, that's that's whoops. Hey, don't do that. Don't move it. Control Z. There we go. Move it back. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we all, we also don't need the Holbert material, so we can just delete that and the handle for the spear. All we want is the material information for the chandelier and the lamp. So now that we got this all set up, it's ready to be exported. So you just export, go doo -doo 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 -doo. vampire export plugin and click here. And then we want to overwrite. We got to make sure we're overwriting and existing. So you just click on the zero. We started with zero. We're going to overwrite zero. And click save, yes. And then click on OK. Now we just need to repeat this uh, process. So I'm going to create new. No, I don't want to save that. I'm going to create new. So we got a new scene now. We're going to import the next model. We're going to repeat this for all for all patterns. So yeah, this is different. Definitely a different pattern. So we want to want to merge. We want to merge the lamp in there again. And we're just going to have to repeat what we did. We're going to have to do this for for this one, 01. I mean, and then uh, 3 and 4. And th the, this particular skeleton is used for uh, Eric and Pink. Um, skeleton 3 is used for uh, female models. And Skeleton 4 is used for Nosferatu, like Samuel and the various Nosferatu that you see in the game. So this is pretty much this is pretty much the process of getting a weapon to appear. This should work for for pretty much everything. Just uh, import a similar weapon and uh, <coughs> and then merge a clean mesh of the weapon that you created that you want to assign in there and then align it. So that's, that's pretty much a repeated process that we do. So you just select it in there and now we have to align it to match that of the spear. And I'm going to go in here and go do 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 and then see if we can align that there. And we also need to rotate in this window and move that there. I need to do some more rotating. And then rotate a little bit over there. To do, do, do. And then you got to figure out which bone. That's a sign. Okay, so is it still bone 26 here? Let's select the sign. Nope, not on this model. So let's see, let's try bone. Ah, it's bone 27 for this guy. So what we want to do is want to double click bone 27 again. Go into group. Double click these here. Go back to joints and click assign. So now when we double click on that and select assign, we have both the spear and the lamp again. Assigned to bone 27. So now we can just delete the spear because we don't need it anymore. We just want the lamp. And we can just delete the spear materials and keep the lamp materials. And then we're ready to export this one. to Javo lamp weapon or whatever you created that has the one at the end. Now we're ready to do it again for for three. 
So we go in, add three in there. Merge the lamp. Select the lamp. Double click. Be sure to double click the uh, the groups um, objects there. And let's rotate, align this here. This window here, rotate a line like that there too. Alright there. Now we need to find the joint that's assigned. Uh, maybe one of these. No, that's different. That's that looks like it's part of the hair. Let me focus in here and see which let's see here. Bone do we want? Nope, not that one. Not that one. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay, we're in the twenties here. Looks like we're getting close. Okay, maybe it's bone seventeen. Let's select a sign on there. Nope, it's not bone seventeen. Let's try bone. Bone 16. Select the sign. Nope, not bone 16. How about bone 18? Ah, yep, it's bone 18 for for the uh, the female skeleton. It's a skeleton three. And it's bone 18 that the spear is assigned to. So now we want to uh, double click and make sure we select that. Make sure that it shows indicating red there that it's been selected. And that it's the only thing selected. So we go into groups, and we're going to select the uh, the lamp. Go back to joints, and assign. Now we go select assign to make sure that it's assigned. Do do do. Yep, it's it's assigned to bone 18. So now we're ready to remove the sphere. Delete, delete, and we're ready to remove the the materials that correspond to the spear. Delete, delete. We just want to keep the ones that are for the lamp. And we're ready to export again. Now, last but not least, the Nosferatu. So we're going to import Nosferatu skeletons. Skeleton 4. Now we need to merge the lamp in there again. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. Now I'll um, go into group, select the lamp, align it, get it fixed up. Do, do, do. <coughs> okay. Alright, so that's a line now. Now we need to find the bone that we need to assign this to. So, where is the bone? Where is the bone? Okay, we're in bone 23, 22, no. Let's go 24. Bone 24? Nope, not bone 24. Let's try bone 25. Yep, it's bone 25. We got some red dots here. So, uh, so let's double click bone 25. Make sure that it's that it's shown. Make sure that it's shown indicated that it's selected with the red outline. So go into groups, double click the lamp, both components of the lamp, be sure you don't miss anything. Go back to joint and click on the sign. Now just to make sure that everything's assigned, click select assigned. There we go. It's all assigned there. Now we're ready to go into groups. 
and delete the spear. I don't need spear anymore. And delete the materials corresponding to the spear. Goodbye. We just want the lamp. So now we just made it all four models. We're ready to export. Oh, okay. Alright then. So, we're done with Milkshape. So we can just exit out of here. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to build our weapon template. So we need to go into Not Editor.